Hey guys, David here from Instant Fly Review and uh, welcome back to an all new video. So in today's video we're going to talk about picture description. Now you all may be wondering why I picked that topic. Um, so I've had a few students lately that have helped um, prepare for the uh, ICAO level 4 to 6 English test, okay, Aviation English. Um, and a picture description can be part um, of this test. Um, so some students maybe feel more or less comfortable with that topic. Um, although generally it's a very simple matter, I would say. Um, but I think it's good to know uh, like, um, if you know how you can do that um, and so on and so forth. Okay. So today I just wanted to give you um, a little example or hint um, on how you can do a picture description. So the main part of this video, uh, which will be next, is um, me describing a random aviation picture. Okay, I'll basically describe what I see um, while using different tenses. However, um, the two uh, or three tenses that I'm trying to focus on primarily uh, are the simple present, uh, the present progressive, also known as the present continuous, and also passive forms. Okay, these are the three that I'm trying to focus on primarily, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the main part of the video. And then the uh, last or final part of the video will be me reviewing um, the picture description, meaning I will go through the sentences again that I've used during my picture description, along with an explanation um, of the grammar itself. Okay, So we will review, uh, review the simple present and the present progressive, and probably also the, uh, the passive forms that I've used during my picture description. Okay. So um, I hope you liked the video. Um, again, uh, the main part will be next, followed by the last and um, final part um, where we do a review of um, the main part, basically. Okay. So uh, I see you in just a moment. Okay. So uh, let's get started with our picture description. Um, as I previously mentioned, um, I will just talk about the picture in general, and um, then I will start with um, the foreground of the picture. Give a description about that, followed by the background, and uh, maybe towards the end of the uh, of my description, I will talk about some general facts again if I should see something. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So I believe, um, but I'm almost certain that this picture was taken at an airport in the United States, as I see a lot of United uh, planes uh, from United Airlines. Um, that being said. Um, it might be a United Hub actually, um, I can't think of it like right now which one it could be, but it, it looks like one. Otherwise uh, it seems like a nice uh, and sunny day, maybe morning hours, but I'm not sure about that. So let's uh, talk about the uh, foreground. Um, so in the foreground I see uh, a colored plane, twin engine or multi-engine plane. Um, the upper half of its fuselage is obviously white, um, the lower half of it uh, looks grayish, I would say. Um, and it looks like it's at parked at gate number 109. Um, yeah, I also see um, a white United vehicle um, in the lower left corner of the screen, maybe um, with catering inside for the upcoming flight, I don't know, but it could be. It is kind of hard to tell um, whether this plane is being prepared uh, for the next flight or has just arrived from somewhere else. Um, so at the bottom of the screen, I see a little tow truck. There's also a hose connected to the airplane. I also see an air bridge that is connected to the airplane at the moment. Uh, so passengers may be boarding um, or disembarking the plane at the moment. And if I see it correctly, um, the cockpit is currently occupied um, in the picture. Um, pilots are probably sitting in it, preparing the plane. Uh, furthermore, I also see a man in the lower right corner of the picture. Um, the man is standing next to the main gear, I believe. Um, perhaps he is checking on something. It's kind of hard to or difficult to tell whether this plane has just arrived um, or it's getting ready for departure. Anyway, um, let's uh, move on um, with the background. So in the background of the picture I see another United plane. In front of that plane I see another tow truck. 
Um, there's three men that are standing around it. Uh, it looks like they are working on it. It looks like they have just pulled the airplane into its proper position for taxiing. Um, and one of the three men, he is a marshaller. Yeah, so I believe that plane is getting ready for taxi operations, um, probably departing this particular airport. Uh, okay, uh, the far background, we also have um, some, I would say, towers, maybe halts, um, cranes that I can see. Yeah, it's, it's hard to identify what it is, but um, I already mentioned this, some big houses with several floors, some cranes, um, halts. Um, could be an industrial part of the city or that region or yeah who knows um, anyways this was my background description again back to the airplane in the foreground here the one that is facing the camera I can also see a uh, white truck um, or a van rather that is parked under the uh, right wing uh, would be the right wing from a pilot's perspective um, left wing looking at the picture um, yeah, so this is the one thing that I have missed before. Um, and I believe there's another plane that is parked next to this one, because um, I can see a wing or winglet. Um, it's actually, I think it's a sharklet, one of the newer ones, uh, to the very left of the picture. That was my picture description. I hope you understood the most. So at this point, um, the next part of this video will be a review of the sentences I've used um, or the most important ones, talking about the tenses again that I've used that can be used for the picture description. So if that's of any interest to you, feel free to stay tuned to this video, uh, keep watching. Um, other than that, I hope you liked the video, I hope you could learn something from it. If so, I would appreciate your thumbs up or leave me a comment if you have any questions. And to those of you uh, who want to stay, feel free to do so. Otherwise, you have a good day. So hey everyone, um, welcome to the last and final part of this video. Uh, for all of those of you who um, kept watching, um, we will do the uh, review of the uh, sentences um, along with an explanation um, of the grammar that I've used in my picture description. Okay, so uh, let's get started with that. Um, so just some of the general facts that I had mentioned at the beginning of my description was for example This picture was taken at an airport in the US. It's a passive phrase um, pass, Simple past passive um, To be exact uh, it was taken We have to use this tense um, if we don't know the subject of an action, okay? We don't know who did it. Uh, I don't know who took that picture. I have no idea um, yeah, so this is a passive sentence. Um, you would use a form of to be, depending um, either was, were, or is, am, or are, depending on whether it's a simple present uh, passive form or um, simple past passive. And then we would uh, take the uh, third form of a verb, okay? Um, if you conjugate the verb, it's a present form, it's a past form, and then we have the past participle. So we'll use uh, the, always the third form um, for this matter. Um, let's come to our next sentence here. Uh, it seems like a nice and sunny day. Okay, it's another thing um, that I see in the picture. Obviously present tense here. Okay, it seems like. And um, the alternative for seems can also be it appears to be. Okay, it appears to be a nice and sunny day. You can use uh, them both um, equally. They have the same meaning. Um, that's about that. So let's go ahead and go to the next picture. Okay, so let's come to uh, the phrases or sentences that I've used uh, for the foreground description. Um, we'll start with some simple present tenses. Uh, I see a colored plane, twin multi-engine plane. Okay. Um, you could also have said, I see a colored plane. It's a twin engine or a multi-engine plane. Okay. Here we have the word C. Okay, that's obviously simple present. The upper half of the fuselage is white, the lower half is gray. Um, here we also have the present verb forms, is. Now as a little help for you or, in, or to convert, uh, avoid any confusion um, to, us, to many students that are non-native English speakers, it can be quite confusing. Is is uh, an irregular verb, okay, but you will not find it in any kind of table. Like if, if you check out the irregular verbs of English, like in, in the form of a table, you will not find the verb um, it, or the word is. And that's because is 
as well as am and are, they all belong to the verb of to be. Okay. To be is normally the first verb in the, in the table of irregular verbs in English. Like, to be is like uh, the basis of it, okay? Is, am and are are present forms of to be. Was and were, however, you will find in it, um, which is the past form of to be. Okay, so just go ahead and check that out for yourself if you want. However, this is the present form, so we have to use is. I also see a white United vehicle in the uh, lower left corner of the screen. Uh, I could also have said picture, because I was obviously looking at the picture, but because I was staring at the screen, that's probably why I said the screen. Um, same verb again, I see, okay? At the bottom of the screen, uh, again, screen here, I'm sorry. <laughs> at the bottom of the screen, I see a tow truck. Same thing again, it's, I'm seeing it, um, it's a fact. So I just use the simple present. Um, I see a man in the lower right corner of the picture. Um, now let's go over to the present progressive phrases. For example, pilots are sitting in the cockpit. The man is standing next to the main gear. Perhaps he is checking something. So the present progressive is being used to describe an ongoing action, okay? Something that's happening at the moment of speaking. So, um, that being said, you can describe a picture using the simple present, as you see in the sentences above that we just went through, uh, but then at the same time you can describe the action that was ongoing in the picture at the moment it was taken, okay? Again, pilots are sitting in the cockpit, uh, the man is standing next to the main gear, perhaps he is checking something. Um, the present progressive, also known again as present continuous, is put together with a form of B, if it's a present form, it's is, am, or are. Um, and then a verb, present, a present form of a verb or infinitive of a verb, uh, and you add ing to that, okay? And then you have the present progressive. Now we also have some passive phrases, or at least one here. There is also a hose and an air bridge connected to the airplane. Now passive, again, is if you don't have the person or the subject who's doing something. We don't know who laid that on the on the ground uh, who, who connected um, the average we can just assume that it was some ground stuff probably okay but we don't know that for sure so uh, we would use the passive um, the passive always uses a form of B if it's a simpler simple present passive at least or um, simple past passive and you would always use the third form of a verb okay past participle to build it so here we have is and then we have connected because uh, some people confuse it's simple present, but they use a past word form. Um, that's just a passive form, how you uh, build that. Okay, let's go ahead and continue with the background. I see another United plane. In front of that airplane's nose, I see a tow truck. Simple present again, that's a fact, that's what we see. Present progressive, um, three men are standing around it. It looks like they are working on it. Um, so again, first we're just going to describe what we see. We see the three men um, and then we can describe what they're doing. In that case, I would just, I'm just observing that there's three men that are standing around it. To me, it also looks like they are working on it because that's what it seems like they're doing right now um, when the picture was taken. One of the men, he's a marshaller, uh, is guiding the, um, out the plane into its proper position. That's the action that he is doing, um, which I think is probably the best phrase that I used um, to describe that moment, or the best moment in the picture itself, because he's doing something right there. Okay, you can obviously see that. Um, one of the men is guiding the plane into its proper position. Again, is in that case, because we relate that to man, it's a he, of course, okay, male person, so we would use is. Um, and then we have the word form of guide. Um, and we just add ing to that and we have the present progressive um, or continuous, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, the last one, this plane is getting ready for taxi, also um, present progressive here. Is in that case again because um, the subject would be the plane um, and we'll have to substitute it um, with a pronoun like he, she, it. So the plane would be it. It is getting ready for taxi. So I just want to give you that explanation in terms of grammar, how they, how things are related. Last part of this here, uh, sentence starters that I used in the description. Um, it looks like, it seems like, it appears like. Um, again, appears and seems they're very similar or can be used uh, similarly. Uh, also, or I also see, there is, there are. Okay, for pro and singular form, 
at the bottom or top of the screen. Now I have used screen here. Um, if you do your picture description, uh, please uh, use the word picture because you'll obviously then not look at the screen. Okay, um, so I'm sorry for that confusion. Um, hopefully it's not too bad for you. Again, at the bottom or top of the picture. In the far background, again the background would just be the background. In that case I would say the United plane um, that is uh, probably getting ready for taxi is in the background and things that are behind that like very far behind I would just use in the far background. Okay. Now some samples of other sentence starters you can use um, in the lower left or right corner of the picture in the middle of the picture furthermore I also see okay um, it's a little help to just like uh, diversify the, the um, your phrasing like the words you use okay not always use the same thing makes a big difference too uh, probably also for the examiner um, if you're able to use different uh, words besides besides planes I also see many vehicles okay you could use that and you have next to I guess that makes sense to everybody um, below underneath above or on top of and then you also have near okay near or nearby um, yeah, okay, so this is the end of my review um, of the tenses, description I used. Uh, it's also the end of this video. In case uh, you stayed all the way to here, I hope you liked the video content. Um, I hope it was helpful to you. Uh, if so, I would appreciate your thumbs up so I know. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to um, contact me directly or post comments and I'll try to uh, answer each of the comments as um, fast as possible and um, like I said if I can be of any help to you if you have any questions feel free to contact me and um, other than that uh, if you prepare for a test um, good luck with that have a good day thanks for watching the video and I see you next time this was David from Inch and Flight Review again thanks for watching see you bye bye